The Mission San Juan Capistrano, known as the Jewel of the Missions, today is a picture of tranquility and grace. It welcomes visitors from around the world and is the center for art, history, music, and education for the community. But in the winter of 1818, the mission had unwanted visitors. The pirates were at the mission. Privateering was a colorful yet risky profession that had started in the Middle Ages and extended into the middle of the 19th century. The basic difference between a pirate and a privateer was a government document that was to pass to the ship's owner or captain the right that would outline who and for how long the ship's company would plunder and, of course, how the plunder was to be divided. No plunder, no income. Yet the rewards could be great, and the privateers attracted those who enjoyed a life of risk and adventure. Such a man was Hippolyto Bouchard. Born in France around 1780, by the age of 25, he was a veteran of Napoleon's navy, and by 1810, found his way to South America, where in 1813, he was granted citizenship from Argentina and found his true calling, a privateer. His ship and its crew were in search of rich prizes. And in 1818, an older and more cunning Bouchard and his ship, the Santa Rosa, and her crew found a likely target, the coast of the Spanish-ruled Alta California and its plunder. Traveling from Hawaii, to the political center of California, Monterey, Bouchard and his men sacked and burned the town for five days, then sailed south to Santa Barbara, and then, in his last stop before continuing south and home to Argentina, the Mission San Juan Capistrano. It was now the early morning on December the 14th, 1818, and as the Santa Rosa anchored in San Juan Bay, today known as Dana Point, from the ship's deck, Bouchard and his crew could see the mission on the hill above the creek bed, about two weeks distant. His purpose now clear, men to the boats and on to the booty. Only 32 years earlier, Padre Junipero Serra had established Capistrano Mission on this beautiful location. Bouchard knew that whatever the virtues of the mission, he must land there and get powder, water, and supplies, and take what he and his men could find. He knew that nothing could be secured to the south. San Diego was heavily fortified and was waiting for him. The Jewel of the Missions offered the last choice in Alta California. Only a few scattered gunshots were heard from the mission defenders before they took to the hills above the town where they watched the privateers go from building to building. The wine storage was one treasure, but Bouchard and his crew, even with a complete search, found the mission well stocked with everything but money or treasure. This would have to do, and in good pirate fashion, fires were set in several buildings. Four men deserted, two local women joined the pirates, and seeing nothing more to plunder, Bouchard ordered all back to the ships. Four days after the attack, the ocean breezes freshened and the pirates turned south with the wind with little more than memories of the mission on the hill. But the raid on Mission San Juan Capistrano would stand as a unique event in the history of California and would prove to be a testament that the mission could withstand not only the ravages of nature and the toll of time, but even an attack of pirates. Today, each October, 
The Mission remembers this colorful chapter in its history by hosting the Pirates' Day Festival. The Pirates' Day Festival offers fun, food, entertainment, dancing for all ages. In today's festival, the plunder is prizes for all age pirates. The pirate raiders of today are a bit different from those who plundered almost 200 years ago, but sometimes it might be difficult to tell the difference. To commemorate the raid on the mission, the Port Royal privateers also invade the mission San Juan Capistrano on Pirate's Day, and they reenact their version of Bouchard's quest for plunder. The pirates, their ships and their crews have passed into history. We are left with this place, the Mission San Juan Capistrano, the real treasure that is history.